Nice. Probably a bad idea to just turn the alarm off like that, but there's not much I can do about it. Oh, crud. Red one. Of course it's a red one. Welcome, on behalf of your friend at ME, we thank you for purchasing the latest in service security technology. If you can any problem, contact the urgent care service for representatives at any time during the weekdays from 10 to 12 on... I think I already read this one. Oh crap. But I think the one I saw over there was white. I probably need to get him to move. Shut those down. I'll, wait, what? Force field? Well, sure. Okay, got, yes. got so far. Now I don't have to worry about being blown up. I need to mention to turn these guys off. Well, at least make them move away. I think I have an elevator I need to reach now. I'm not sure what I'm doing at this point. I'm pretty much improvising. Okay, the turrets are activating. That's bad. Password is infiltration. Kind of ironic, huh? I might have screwed up here. I appear to lock myself in. 
Maybe turning that thing off was a bad idea. No idea. I was just trying. Things are worth a lot. Did I get something? No, not. So we are. If you're reading this, my fears have come to pass, and this is an apology. I hope you realize what my last words meant to you. If so, they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. I know what they meant for me, and I fear they have trapped me here. I expected the previous entry after our conversation tonight. It can't have been easy for you, and I am sorry for all I put you through in silence. I know why you do not love me. You did not mean any malice in what you did. I knew about your plans to rob the casino with Dean before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. What is worth, I am glad you told me yourself, and I understood the tapes he ha had in his possession. I do not think either one of you realized what your addiction stemmed from, however, and that is the tragedy in this. I suspect the world would not have believed you, regardless, so I respect your desire to keep it from others. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you. As the world seemed to race headlong towards war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction, I knew it would not matter when war came for us. It was my means of creating a shelter, a defense in the world was bombarded in radiation and bombs. When Dean revealed his plans inadvertently through our introduction, I realized what had happened and how I had been tricked. For a time, my thoughts were dark. I changed the casino wall from a shell to a trap, as I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here, and it would have been by his own hand. I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is in the vault. I try to revive the systems, change the protocols, and cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform, and see if anything can be done. I fear it is useless. If you come down here, do not access my personal account entry. It contains only a message for Dean, and it will seal the door, and you will have no way out. Even though the vault is designed to automatically return when the door is closed, it will lock in place. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives. I ensure that there is enough medical supplies down here to keep you comfortable. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers, and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that us know you're here. Well, Dina's past rescue will come. I hope you were able to read this and know that I love you. Frig Sinclair. Okay. You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault, and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. Here you are. Yeah, I am. I have questions. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. What do you want? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress, a weapon, a chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. That's my kingdom, hands off. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. They work? The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. 
dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can't fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you, dies. Now, there's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. True. Can't argue with that. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them using its technology with the right applications. Wow, so you want to kill places and then move in, use this technology to have an invincible army and ensure compliance by taping bombs to everyone's necks. <laughs> wow, that's cold. Ask. You still have time. That was odd. The callers, they're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. Ominous. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways. Notably radio interference. As I noticed. A place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. There were two others there. A woman. And a man. A courier. The woman was familiar. The other. I don't know what happened to him. Never heard of that place. Big Empty's a treasure box. A scientific graveyard of old world misery. Like the Sierra Madre, there's treasures there. Sleeping. Some awake. A holo rifle, the Saturnite alloy, the hologram technology, hibernation chambers, securitrons, the callers. Even the suits attached to those things stalking the villa. That's only the surface of what's there. Right now, the Sierra Madre is what I want. So. Coming down now? No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Well, I'll just find a way to unlock myself. I'm quite tech savvy, you know. You got me far. Any farther. Try to breach the vault. You become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. Well, I can't use these.
I just need to destroy one thing, and all your work will be for nothing. You might destroy access to the data, not the data itself. Besides, there would be safeguards in place. <laughs> uh, this, this, I like this line. But you recognize the value of what's down there. You would no sooner destroy what's inside the Sierra Madre than destroy yourself. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Yeah, you do realize that the same thing that gave me a warning, for, warning all throughout this will also give me enough warning to destroy it. Huh. Clever. You're dealing with the Emperor of Mojan Westland. The Their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. If you resist, I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk. I have a plan. A devious plan. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the pre-war money has no weight. 